What's up everyone? Just a follow-up from my previous uh, PBO negative curve versus all core undervolt video for Lost Ark and I've taken it a little bit lower, uh, slightly below the stock all core frequency, so down from 4.3 to 4.4 to 4.2 and that allowed me to run, I can probably even go lower on the V core but I just went for 1.10 or 1.10 volts and that got me down into the low 50s and as you can see here you know everything was maxed out there's nothing um nothing no funny business going on you can just see all the data on the left uh for hardware info where under 1.1 volts around 21 amps and you can see the temperature which was around 55 to 58 with the pbo and 4.5 gigahertz 4.4 uh, gigahertz uh all core um undervolting and it's all the way down here, like we're, st we're hovering around 45 watts. So this is just an example to give people an idea, because I don't know what kind of cooling or what temperature issues other people might be having, but even if your CPU does not have the capability to run at very low vCore on certain frequencies, you can always lower the frequency in order to get lower vCore. And, you know, results will vary because that's just the realm of overclocking and undervolting. But if you're having a serious temperature issue uh, with overheating or anything like that with your with your Ryzen 5000 CPU, then this is definitely a viable uh, option until the game gets more optimized and runs a bit cooler. So even though the game is not using really that much CPU, it does tend to run fairly hot compared to other games that are just as intensive or even like Warzone uses 50, 60, 70 percent CPU, but I was seeing higher temps in Lost Art for some reason. So anyway, um, just showing that here, and I'll just go kill some mobs, just so you can see that the temperature is actually very stable. It's not spiking up to 55, and you know, actually playing it uh, rather than idling and talking. Shows the true performance, and you can see that the the frame rate's fine. Uh, I only cap out at 100 because my monitor is 100 hertz, and there's there's no way to unlock it yet that I know of until they they add it in. So it seems like there's like a built-in uh, hard limit. I don't know if it's a FPS cap or actual VSync. I don't get any pairing, but yeah, 100 FPS is my limit. But if you were on 144, that's another option you could use to get the temps down. Is use Reba Tuner and cap the FPS to. 100 if you're on 144 and that would also help lower your power consumption and temperatures if you're having issues with that but yeah look it looks like we're around 53 degrees as we get into, it does get more intensive up here so the temperature does go up but this is just like a proof of concept of whether there is any benefit to doing it at all and there definitely is in my testing of this area I meant to save the people down here. I beat this uh, in my last uh, gameplay upload, but I didn't talk to the... I didn't initiate the end sequence, and it put me all the way back to the beginning. So I've actually got all the items I got from the first time I beat it. But, Thank yeah. You. I don't know, I have to do Thank it all you. over again. Kind of works good, though, for testing, because I was able to reload the same scene over and over. As for the game, um, I'm really liking this game. I just wish my ping was better. Like, it, it's a, it's hard to explain, but the game, um, the cast don't feel as snappy as they would if it was on lower ping, and that makes the game feel a tiny, tiny bit clunky. Like when I press buttons, there is a mic. Like it's hard to notice, but it, you can feel it uh, when you're actually playing. Stuff isn't instantaneous as it could be. So I'm hoping once I can afford to renew my VPN, my exit lag uh, subscription, maybe I can get it down to 150 or less. That would be really nice. But yeah, at least as you can see here, 4.2 all core, which is definitely down from the TBO values, the game just runs fine. Thank you. And we're getting we're getting solid temps. Alrighty guys, well, that should be enough uh, testing. This is just, just was a demonstration. I just wanted to show that you can get get these kind of results with all core undervolting. And it is definitely better, particularly on the V core and temperature and overall wattage. Uh, I am going into the more intensive area though. I didn't test up here on the other video, 
Uh, so I'm, I'm imagining on the other uh, settings, like using 4.4 or PBO negative curve, we would be seeing even higher uh, wattage. Like it probably would have pushed 60 watts, which in the grand scheme of things, that's nothing if you're on really good cooling and you have low ambient temps. But if you're in a tropical country and you're running 30C ambience and you're not running a top of the line cooler, then things like this can make a difference. Like five or 10 watts on the CPU power consumption uh, directly affects the temperatures and you, you know your cool you got to factor in your cooling and everything so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video where i'll probably just actually play the game without talking and just enjoy more of this i i actually am really enjoying uh lost ark gameplay because it, it brings you in as an arpg but in reality because when you go into towns and stuff uh, you actually have it's full-on mmorpg like world of warcraft but it's in this isometric view, which makes it feel that it's a nice feeling. Um, and you can zoom in if you just want to see better graphics, um, like so. Wait, I, I can't run forward without zooming out a bit. But the thing is, you don't have to, so it's nice. Why does Rise look red? Is it tinted? Thank you. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, wait. Before I buy, <laughs> have a quick look at the... Uh, have a quick look at these first. I'll open if I can open these. You can, just so you can see the peaks, uh, we've got 38 amps, so it was a little bit lower in amperage compared to 4.4. Uh, 1.14 on the motherboard side V core. The VRM MOS is it's just already heated up. Like I did let it cool down before running this test, but it heats up to about 43C. And then the actual V core on the CPU itself, the CPU SVI2 TFN, which is meant to be the accurate sensor is staying under 1.9 volts and that results in a direct like even the max temp is only 54 degrees at 4.2 so this is very low i obviously wouldn't recommend this for competitive gaming um actually you probably could get good frame rates even at even at 4.2 because it would still be beating a ryzen uh, 3600 which a lot of people use uh it's just more to just show the the kind of uh differences so you can compare this to my other video okay see you guys thanks for watching